Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can obtain epsilon squared from a cross call Wallace test using the adjusted H value for tight rings. Um, unfortunately there is no way of doing this straightforward in SPSS, so we first need to create an one additional variable, which is uh, the ranks. So click on transform and then select rank cases and then select the variable which you use for the cross call Wallace test itself uh, I'll be using this one as an example move that to the variables and click on OK now go back to your data file and in the data view scroll all the way to the right and you should be able to see a newly created variable which shows the ranks uh, aver averaging tight ranks for each case now the epsilon squared for the cross call Wallace test can now be obtained by clicking on analyze then compare means and then click on means select the splitting variable to the independent list and scroll all the way down to the newly created variable and move that one to the dependent list very important click on options and select ANOVA table and ETA and click on continue then click on OK and now all the way at the bottom in the output you should be able to see something SPSS list as eta squared uh, but this is actually the epsilon squared for the cross call Wallace uh, test using an adjusted H value um, the formula I'm assuming for epsilon squared for the cross call Wallace test is uh, shown here that's this one up here which is using H um, but SPSS then will actually the epsilon squared in F uh, SPSS will be the adjusted age for tight ranks and um, if we scroll all the way up you can see which article this is coming from so this is the article where it actually came from um, it can also be shown that indeed um, this uh, where is it up here that this eta squared is indeed that epsilon squared for the cross call Wallace test. Um, also remember that SPSS usually only only reports partial eta squares. Um, however, if there's only one variable um, or one predictor variable, then partial eta squared and eta squared should be the same. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to a small proof uh, to show that this is indeed the same uh, as the epsilon squared. Okay, and that's all there is to it.